Okay guys, welcome back to tutorial number 34. Now in ES5, we have the for each loop to iterate over array elements. So let's say we have an array of numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, then we can call the for each loop on this numbers array by passing a function. Now this function is going to accept three, three parameters. The element of the array, index of the array, and this array is the array with which the for each loop was called. So we can log to the console array of index element and we run this. We get array of 0 equals 2, 1 is 4, 2, 4, 6, 8. Now, for each loop worked out pretty well in ES5 with arrays. So in ES2015, they decided to have the for each loop with maps and sets as well. So let's have a look at maps in ES2015. I'm going to comment this out and clear the console. So over here I have created a new map so let my map equals new map and this contains two key value pairs first name Chandler and last name Bing. Now similar to arrays we call the for each loop on the on the map and we have a function passed into the parentheses. Now this map function is going to again accept three parameters the value so Chandler and Bing, the key, first name, last name, and then the calling map. So the map on which the for each method is called. So let's lock to the console key value pair and then let's check if my map is actually equal to this calling map. So when I run this and head over to the console, nothing's working. Let me check why. Okay. So I need to have the closing parentheses and there you go. Let's run this. We have first name Chandler. My map is in fact equal to the calling map and last name Bing. So that is how the for each loop works with maps. Now similarly, we also have the for each loop with sets. Now I have created a new set let my set equals new set and it has three unique values 1, 2 and 3. And again we are calling the for each loop on my set by passing a function called set function. And the set function is going to accept three parameters again value, key and calling set. So when we log key value and then my set is in fact the calling set. So let me clear the console and run this and there you go 1, 1, true. 2, 2, true, 3, 3, true. So in sets, the key and value are both the same. But we have this three parameters here because they wanted to maintain the standard across arrays, maps, and sets. Now if you have a look, array has three parameters, map has three parameters, and they wanted to continue the same, and that is why they have three parameters even for a set. So the key and value are going to be the same. You can just log out either one of them. And when we do a my set triple equal to the calling set, we have true. So that was a quick video about using the for each loop on arrays with ES5 or maps and sets with ES2015. So thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.